Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. A place is not our dwelling if we do not live there. For God to be our dwelling, we need to live in His presence. Reading today in the book of Psalms, chapters 90 through 92, and the verse of the day is Psalm 90, verse 1. A prayer of Moses, the man of God. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Word of the day is dwelling. It is the Hebrew word ma'on. It means refuge, habitation, a place where one lives, an abode of God. According to the Lexham Research Lexicon of the Hebrew Bible, a shelter from danger or hardship. And according to the theological word book of the Old Testament, most frequently it designates the Lord's dwelling place, heaven, always qualified with the word holy, and the temple in Psalm 26, 8. Finally, it portrays the Lord as a refuge for his people. This psalm is believed to have been written by Moses, according to the Enduring Word Commentary. This is the only song of Moses in the Psalms. But there are two other songs in the Pentateuch, Exodus 15 and Deuteronomy 32, as well as the blessing of the tribes of Israel in Deuteronomy 33. This prayer of Moses was almost certainly written during the wilderness years on the way to Canaan. And all those years, Israel lived in constant need of refuge, shelter, and protection. More than their tents and their armies, Israel had God as their dwelling place, their refuge, and their protection. Friends, God is our home, our dwelling place for all generations. There is no other person or place to whom we belong. All other dwelling places are temporary, but those who dwell in Christ have eternal security. The Enduring Word Commentary says, We have our home in Him, and home should be a place where we rest, where we can be ourselves, where love and happiness dominate. All this should mark our relationship with God. Do you struggle to feel like you belong somewhere? Make God your home by spending time with Him. Run to Him when life is hard. Let Him be your refuge. Go with God and His precious word, friends, and join us tomorrow in the book of Proverbs.